Hi, this is Natada Ashian Jamba. Yes, that's my name. Natada, who was born uh, when there's a sunshine uh, with a brave heart. That's the name I got from my colleagues in Kenya. Anytime I see any Kenyan, I will say, I'm Ashian, nice to meet you. And, and that uh, surprisingly have, you know, made me feel like I'm really a part of the community. And in fact, I think I am really. And today I'm going to be telling you about a story of this Amref hoodie that that it took me 18 months to become the owner of it. But but it's not just the owner of these uh, hoodies, it's actually the story behind that is quite magnificent. And I hope this story will give you a new perspective in life, especially for us engineers when we conduct research uh, to try to develop technology for raw resource settings. Um, this happened around 18 months ago when I visited uh, Kimri CDC in Kisumu in Kenya to bring all our simple which is the near point of care technology that you, you all might have heard about that, which is the technology that we can use to detect HIV drug resistance uh, with the goal that when the clinician have access to this information, they actually can tailor the medication for each patient. With the right medication, a uh, patient will have a better treatment outcome. And I went there, I met first with Preston, who is a young senior, I would say, young scientist with a senior knowledge. <laughs> Let's say that. He quickly learned the techniques on how to operate Ola Simple and then train many people in Kenya to operate Ola Simple successfully. So that's great. But what really cool is that one day we went out to have a lunch, which is at the cafeteria, you know, we got a canteen near the lab and I was enjoying my ugali which, and also the tilapia, which is really common food that people eat along with a kusuma wiki, which is like a salad that made from kale. Uh, you boil them first. But as I was doing that, uh, a colleague who happened to be a friend with Preston, his name is Rono, wearing an AMREF outfit like with logo, which is really cool. So my friendly self can't help <laughs> have to say, hi, uh, what's your name? Nice to meet you. And where do you get this, this hoodie? Can I have one? And that's that simple gesture actually led me to... Let's add our team actually to the project that that on track of being so successful in Kenya right now. It turned out Rono is an AMREF technical advisor who has been working with TB, tuberculosis, for a really long time. And when he hear about the story of Ola Simple, right away he said, of course, um, do you think Ola Simple can be useful for TB? And at that time, you know, as an engineer, um, I'm pretty skeptical when people just, you know, connecting the platform to another program without really thinking hard. So instead of saying yes or no, what I did is just simply walk them through the process of bio design. Basically, we gone through you know, need assessment, understand the landscape of other existing technology, and really define what could be the role of Ola Simple for for TB duct resistant testing. And to my surprise, it was amazing how fast the information is is generated because they are indeed the expert. They know exactly what what local people or community really need. So that part turned out to be super simple compared to me sitting down and trying to read the literature uh, online, right? So then we also went on to think more about like stakeholder and how how it's all going to fit together, not just for development, but when it's going to be transferred and, and implemented in the country. So we did all that even before we put together the proposal, which is something that different from, from with what we normally do. You know, like usually the proposal for engineering principle is just like, okay, we have this idea. We're going to use the technique to do it. And that's that pretty much it. And most of the thing that we cited on our introduction section is is mostly something we read you know which is very different and refreshing when you actually hear from the local you feel that what you do it actually could make an impact it because it might have a, a actual real needs right so so that's something that that actually the first 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 take but it didn't stop there because of all this harmony and collaboration that that I feel, you know, driven mostly by Rono and Preston, who feel like now they are a uh, co-creator of this technology. They actually ran on the ground, you know. We have been just around 
eight months into the project, but we have already, you know, presented at three conferences and we have the prototype on two technology that, uh, you know, is not fully finished, but we took it there to Kenyan. The moment that it really hit me is when I was sitting in the room watching Preston and Ronald just training the, the other technician on how to run Ola Simple for, for TB. But it's all in Swahili, where to me was like the world flip, you know, when on the first day to detect HIV duct resistance, um, everything was probably a black box to them. They just understand that, okay, this is how it run and it's going to be done this way. They, they did not understand how it works, but now the world flip when I actually didn't know what they actually were saying in Swahili. But guess what? You know, a few hours later, here's a result that actually matched what we expected. So to me, this is a moment of celebration. This morning, we just had a call together and it's almost like we can't believe we got this far. But it's simple, just, just you know, to credit to the Amrev t-shirt or hoodie that got us this far. But at the same time, just, you know, sometimes just take a chance on people. And, and one thing to remind everyone is just, it's not that local people from low to middle income countries are, are not smart or not curious. They're curious, they're intelligent, they're capable. What they're missing is an opportunity to learn. To whenever you have an opportunity to go to conference, stop by at that university, visit the lab, give a lecture. You never know that that 10 to 30 minutes of your life that you just share your knowledge share your insight could make a difference in the world and potentially make an impact in the future. So this is the first chapter of our project and and uh, I soon will be launching a few video uh, that uh, talk, that Ronald and Preston that you will get to talk to them and hear them, not talk to them, but maybe hear them talking um, as part of the, um, hopefully it would be a news article to talk about this project. With that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and also get ready for holiday season. So with that, um, asante, which means thank you and talk to you later. Bye.